Hey guys, I'm back with another Kindle review, and this time around it's for the 14.5 ounce three wick vanilla coconut surf candle from Bath and Body Works, part of the like after candle day replenishment collection, uh, and also I guess potentially early spring 24 release. But I've been to a number of stores during my SAS runs where this candle has already been sold out, and they maybe only have like the Palo Santo candle still left over from this collection, and I don't know if they're gonna replenish it. So just like don't sleep on this and keep your eyes out because I just don't know if it's gonna like be restocked. But in any case, the notes on this read sweet vanilla, coconut waves, and beech wood. And oh my god, this is so delicious, amazing, and awesome. I've already raved about it and talked about it many times, but I want to do a dedicated review on it just because I don't know how long this is going to stick around. But this is great. I've been very vocal about not liking coconut from Bath and Body Works, but in the past year or so, they've like really kind of like turned around, at least for my personal taste, of enjoying coconut a lot more. And this is probably one of my favorite coconut fragrances from them. It's just of this beautiful blend of both like a nice beachy coconut, but then also like this very warm gourmand, like nutty vanilla fragrance mixed together. And the combination of the two is just absolutely delicious and amazing. And it says it's supposed to smell tropical and comforting. And it most certainly does have like a tropical, but also comforting uh, feel to it that I really enjoy. So what you get from this is first and foremost, a coconut. The coconut is kind of similar to the Honolulu Sun coconut that we've had before, which is like this more like beachy, complex coconut that has a little bit more going on. So with the coconut, you get a little bit of a woodsiness. You also get a hint of a floral component that evokes that sort of like sunscreen, suntan type of like uh, coconut fuel that you get. Uh, so it's a little bit of that like floral element in there, but also sort of like a nuzzly, warm, woodsy component to it. Uh, I would say the Honolulu Sun actual candle itself has a little bit more of this like citrusy, fruity blend that you don't quite get in the vanilla coconut surf candle, but it has a similar type of like complex beachy coconut fragrance that Honolulu Sun has. And so you get that in here. And so you mix that sort of like nutty warm coconut with just a little bit of that sort of woodsy uh, floral component. And then you add in like this really creamy, uh, almost like a whipped vanilla cream type of vanilla component to it. Uh, and it's really great. And the coconut makes it a little bit more warmer and creamy and more comforting. Uh, and it almost, the the vanilla in this is so warm and creamy that it leans gourmand and it kind of comes off like the vanilla you might get in the coconut cream pie candle we've had before, which had a similar type of like a warm like bakery gourmand vanilla, vanilla in it. So if you liked uh, the coconut cream pie fragrance, but want something a little bit more beachy and woodsy and slightly more floral, uh, then this would offer that for you. But it's kind of like takes the sort of like nice coconut cream gourmand warm comforting aspect that you get from coconut cream pie and then mix it with a little bit more of that sort of like beachy woodsy slightly floral coconut that you get in Honolulu Sun and you mix the two together and I just like that it's it's I guess complex and this is what I enjoy in the sense that it's not just like a straight up like gourmand coconut vanilla but you get the complexities of the Honolulu Sun mixed with like a nice comforting vanilla as well and I just like the the layers that this uh, fragrance provides and it gives it like this beachy fragrance that's also strangely gourmand and warm and vanilla at the same time and I just like the interaction of all that going together and so it just comes off as this like really nice robust uh warm and nutty coconut vanilla fragrance and so I guess vanilla coconut surf does make sense in the sense that the surf gives it the sort of like beachy uh sunscreen vibe to it but then you get the coconut vanilla in that very obvious kind of like gourmand way and it just merges together in this like beautiful truly tropical and comforting like the island sun uh coconut vanilla surf type of fragrance so yeah uh I really enjoy it I love it uh it's just like great right now when it's like cool and like you want to imagine yourself transported to a warm beachy location but uh, I totally see myself enjoying this into the spring and summer months as well. So yeah, just totally great. It's so much better than like that really plasticky, grody, like burnt, waxy, uh, crayony coconut vanilla we used to get back in the day. It's not like that. It's a little bit nicer, more robust. So I really enjoy it. So that's pretty much the fragrance. Let me go into the performance. So this is a, I think a fourth burn and it's doing great. It has the core wicks on it. It makes these like little small mushroom tops, but nothing too intense, but just, you know, the usual trim, uh, even wax pool, no time, just the usual performance on this candle, no issues with it. As for the throw, this is great too. It's very pleasant, but also potent at the same time. Uh, the one I have has been doing really great. I would say a good, at least uh, six into a seven and sometimes even an eight in a bedroom. There was one burn where this was just like too strong at night. And I was like, whoa, this is like really choking me out right 
right now. So definitely in like the six to the eight ranges, depending on where you put it, but good, definitely well into the medium plus strong uh, type of category. So we're good to go there. Overall, one of my favorite coconut fragrances from Bath & Body Works. I normally hate coconut, so that's kind of saying a lot. Uh, I've already repurchased it as well. Uh, love it. It's just, it's different from your other coconut fragrances in the sense that it mixes that sort of like nutty, warm vanilla in there. Uh, but it's not quite like Cocoa Paradise or Hibiscus Paradise, which has more of that like solar floral quality to it that leans a little bit more into that sort of like tropical vacation floral vibe. Uh, this one has enough of that sort of vanilla warmth gourmand action that it takes it away from that. But then it also adds a little bit more than just your plain like nutty like grody coconut that we get from like Santorini Coast uh, or like which was like copper coconut at one point. It smooths the edges around those coconuts that we get as well. So I like that it like stands on, on its own and has like a di like a different feel from the other coconut fragrances. So yeah, I don't think this is a repackage of any of the other previous ones, but hello, it's coconut. So it's going to share similarities to other coconut fragrances from Bath and Body Works. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.